Hey there guys, today we'll be looking at the very first canned batch of Baba Brewhouse's Cow Jumped Over the Moon. Um, so this is their New England style IPA, um, comes in at 5.9% alcohol by volume, and it was canned on the 19th, so at this point in time it is 8 days old. Um, I haven't, out of the, haven't had it out of the can yet, had it on draft, but this is a courtesy of my buddy Brad, so thank you very much. Um, yeah, so a little bit about the beer, um, talking with the owner, or one of the owners, excuse me, uh, she said it was their take on um, Trillium's Congress Street. So uh, it's their IPA, it's dry hopped with Galaxy Hops, and then has Columbus Hops as well. I didn't know if they actually dropped it with that as well, or if they added it in the boil, but anyway, it's a similar recipe, apparently, or it's inspired by Congress Street. Um, anyway, yeah, so check it out. So, um, maybe some of you have seen I did the draft review. was incredibly hazy. Pretty nice attempt at the style. A um, few differences, but anyway. As you can see from the can, it is still decently hazy, but definitely not as much so as the draft release. Um, but still a pretty nice amount of haze. It's got this nice deep kind of orange, maybe an orange amber type color to it. Um, and a nice big fluffy white head, so similar looking to the part, however, not quite the level of um, haze, I'd say, as far as you know, Trillium or Treehouse or some of the other local ones. So, anyway, show you the aroma. Uh, definitely getting big citrus, um, orange, and then bits of grapefruit, pretty much the noticeable aroma at first. There is some tropical fruit there. I'm getting some pineapple. It has almost a hint of that kind of uh, orange pineapple banana type character to it that Houston Hayes has, but not quite as intense. Definitely more on the citrus side or just grapefruit and orange. There might be a hint of a bready malt underneath, but really it's big on the citrus is kind of the primary aroma here. So. Um, it kind of reminds me on the nose something like um, maybe some of the older um, New England IPAs. Uh, I mean, things like uh, Eddie Topper. Um, oh, God, I can't. Uh, I think it's Foley, Foley Brothers. Um, some of those other, um, you know, breweries that have been around and kind of created that style before Trillium even Treehouse came in. A big citrus, um, slight elements of West Coast, but a lot more tropical, um, and definitely not as malty or um, piney or floral or anything like that. So, check out the taste. Cheers. Yeah, the taste reminds me a lot more of that as well. Um, it's actually pretty clean, bright citrus. Um, definitely big on the orange and the grapefruit. Not as much tropical fruit here on the taste. Definitely a little bit more on the aroma, but still even not a whole lot. But it's mostly citrus on the taste. Uh, there might be a hint of like a pine or floral character, but not not you know too much. It kind of reminds me a little bit too of fresh pussy wagon. Um, However, not definitely not as assertive in the bitterness. The bitterness is very restrained, really nice. I actually think that the bitterness here is lower than it was on draft. However, it feels like a different beer. I feel like that was a bit more tropical on draft. Um, this is a little bit different. It has a bit more of a West Coast element to it. Now, the draft version did have hints of that. I feel like this is closer to a West Coast style beer without that assertive bitterness. So in that regard, it really does remind me of some of the old school Vermont IPAs. Um, some some similar characteristics of Heady Topper. Um, some of the Foley stuff, like I think it's Pieces of Eight and uh, Prospect. I think it was. Um, maybe even like Lunch, um, you know, from Maine. Uh, so, something similar to that, or even. Uh, you know, sip of sunshine, 
Um, really nice, restrained bitterness. It's definitely lower. Um, just big, bright citrus. Really not a whole lot of a, a, any kind of overpowering malt character or anything like that. Definitely the citrus and the hops at the forefront here. So anyway, really solid. Um, I wouldn't really call this as much of a New England style IPA when you think in terms of Trillium or Treehouse. I felt like the draft batch was, but this one not so much. Um, definitely old school um, Vermont type IPA. Or, I don't know if you want to say old school. It's just the fact that, you know, beers like Hetty Topper and things like that were... Uh, you know, way before Treehouse Trillium. And I think that kind of defined really that sort of style up there until they came along and tweaked it and made New England style what it is today. So, But anyway, still a fantastic offering. Would definitely be really excited to check out a uh, any more of their um, New England style stuff or if they can this again. Berkshire is quite a bit far out for me, so thanks again, Brad, for picking this up. And that's pretty much... It for uh, the can version of Cow Gems or the Moon. Um, as for the beer as it is, I mean this is an easy 4.25 for me. But just keep in mind that um, as it is stated on here as an NI any IPA, I feel like it's um, not very much any IPA as far as this can version goes. Definitely a little bit closer to something like Pussy Wagon as far as the locally. Um, canned IPA, but a lot more restrained bitterness. Not as West Coast as that, for sure. So, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as always, cheers, and I'll catch you guys.